Continues our coverage from Manchester with more on the need to stay cool. Heather? Well, Tiffany, home improvement stores say that they just can't keep up with the demand for air conditioners and fans, and service techs are out straight, working well into the night, trying to cool people off. Even as the sun was setting, people were still thinking about the heat. I'm from North Carolina, so I love the heat, but it is too hot. <laughs> people, or places up here do not have AC, so... But you didn't get an air conditioner. Instead, you get a tower I know, fan. because I figured it's not going to last. Many other people thought the same thing, but by day three of this heat wave, they buckled, leaving stores like Home Depot with few machines. Well, I figured we would have enough to at least get us through until the end of this month. But by evening, some pallets were empty and another shipment was on its way. The focus wasn't okay. only on new air conditioners. Okay. The older models were also getting attention. Oh, today's the worst. And I had to make the call. <laughs> so you waited. You had I to waited a couple days, yeah. Shayla Magner and her husband discovered that their central air conditioning system was broken at the worst time. Something repairmen say happens all too often. It's been unbelievable. Um, the phones are ringing off the hook. Um, a lot of people who didn't plan ahead are calling. We Tony Joyce says 90% of these emergency calls can be avoided if people just tested their system prior to the rise in temperatures. We've had, I want to say, between three and 400 phone calls today. On a good day, we probably get 20 or 25. After his visit with the Magners, Joyce had two more evening appointments, and his technicians were also still on the job. It's just been, it's just been hectic, because when people are warm or hot, you know, they want action. And that demand for cool air has caused some power outages as well. It began around 6 o'clock tonight when people came home from work and switched on the AC. Reporting live in Manchester, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.